When I saw this little timer advertised, I just had to get one and see how it worked, and if it was hackable. They're not expensive and could form the basis of a central heating controller, like the Google Nest, which costs a heck of a lot more. If nothing else, you get a pretty enclosure, a rotary control ring, a seven segment display, a battery holder, a sounder. Just think if we could hack this device. But before we start the teardown, let's see what the timer does. It's both a countdown and a count up timer. Pressing the button starts the timer counting upwards. After five seconds, the display dims to conserve battery life and pressing the button again stops the timer. A long press resets the timer. The device also has a countdown timer, which you can set in five second increments. You press the button to start with and on the timeout, the display flashes and the device bleeps. A short press stops the bleeper and a long press resets the timer. Nice, even if we use it just as a timer. Let's take a look inside. Take out the batteries and remove the rubber feet. Then remove the four screws and lift off the back panel to reveal how this thing works. There's a rotary encoder operated by the outer ring. This rotary encoder gives the ring that nice clicky feeling and a nice sound. If you remove four more screws, you can now lift out the main circuit board. You can see the tack switch at the bottom and how the LEDs are laid out into a seven segment display format. Next, we can remove the light shielding, which has a diffuser for the LED segments. Here are all the parts. The diffuser assembly is about six millimeters thick. This has the big advantage that if you wanted to hack this device, you could insert your own electronics and display instead of the diffuser and still keep the main board intact. You could cut the PCB tracks to the rotary encoder, the sounder, the button and the battery connections and maybe some LEDs and reconnect your own electronics. And the slightly tinted window is large enough to use most OLED displays. It's a very nice project and it's been very, very well engineered. I expect that a future project will be to rebuild the Wi-Fi thermostat from a previous project. So let me know how you get on if you've hacked one of these timers and please subscribe if you like this.